Alright, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of America, which is Babylon the Great. First off and foremost, call Halalim. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Barakatah. Dawan is to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, which are the elder apostles of all Israel. Salutations, Laha uh, Bacharim, alright, which is to the elect. Um, <clears throat> just jump into this real quick, this is for edification's sakes. Uh, this is Exodus 21 and 6. Then his master should bring him to the judges, and he should bring him to the door, or unto the door, door post. His master sh uh, shall bore his heir a uh, oath. Oh, he should serve him forever. So this law, this scripture, this precept is dealing with the Hebrew Israelite master, the actual master, Adawan, a, a Lord, you know, is dealing with him and his Israelite servant that is doing uh, laborious work. You know, whether he works in the field or he cleans the house, he's a, he's a manservant, all right? It's that simple. Nothing more, nothing less. So don't try to connect that master with the masters in the New Testament. Because the masters, you know, that, uh, that's spoken of in the New Testament is, whether you guys can see it or not, it's, it's, it's talking about your teachers, your elders. All right? Now, yeah, you do have scriptures that say call no man masters. Which, hey, we don't call the elders masters. Are they masters? Yeah. Because guess what? They are teachers. All right, they are gods, but the ultimate guide is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, he he sups with us. All right, so when you get into this blue letter, you got to know what bones to pick out, man. All right, uh, now uh, let me go into uh, I'm gonna go into some words uh, after I read, you know, this Titus 2 and 9. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all things, not answer again, which means not backbiting, all right? Not uh, prolonging, but showing all good fidelity. So that's a key word uh, in the scripture, man, because then when you look up that word, you'll get the context, all right? So don't let me look up fidelity in the Greek, man. So let's see what uh, the masters in uh, this context or, or, or this topic is referring to. This is, um, this is, uh, bear with me, I can. This is, uh, pe uh, Petestis, I believe. So let's see what fidelity actually mean, man. Conviction of the truth of anything. All right? Belief in the New Testament, conviction. Respecting the man's relationship with uh, Yahweh and divine things. All right? Relating to God. The conviction that uh, Yahweh exists, the creator, the ruler of all things. Uh, relating to Mashiach. A strong, welcome conviction of the beliefs of Yahweh, uh, that Yahweh Shai is Mashiach. Uh, his uh, definition three the religion beliefs of Christians beliefs that uh, predominate the idea of trust whether in God or in Christ spring, uh, spring from faith in the same so this is dealing with the truth so in this context the servants and the masters are dealing with the truth you can't say that these masters are Esau you can't or uh you got to be a, a good servant to Esau. No, because we don't serve Esau as we serve Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah. When you read uh, like Timothy, uh, the sixth chapter, and scriptures that uh, link up with that, man. So cancel that out. It, it, that, that's not going to fly, man. It's not going to fly. Um, what else? All right, it says, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine. So once again, where is the doctrine contained in? In the truth. So this is dealing with the truth. You have masters in the truth. You have lords in the truth. Do we call them lords? No. 
Do we call them masters? No. We call them elder apostles, man. I, you guys are fucking stretching, man. All right, you, you really trying to seem right? You really want to seem correct? That ain't what the scriptures say, man. Come correct and come directly, man. Because one thing about me, I'm going to deal with the scriptures. I ain't going to beat around the bush. Because apparently nobody dealt with the scriptures that came out in the, uh, on the last lesson I did. All right? They're doing the doctrine of Yahweh, our Savior, and all things for the grace of Yahweh bring of salvation and have prepared unto all men. But now let me get into a couple of words, Akim. Right. Well, you know what? I'm going to read the scripture first. It's 1 Timothy 6 and 1, and I'm going to go all the way to 5. That is many servants that are under the yoke, so a burden, bondage, servitude. All right? Are we not, uh, uh, is not this work a burden? Are not we bury, burying our cross? All right? Uh, count their own masters worthy of honor. Oh, do we not give double honors to the elders? That the name of Yahweh and his doctrine be not blasphemed. So once again, uh, these servants and these masters, it's not speaking of Esau, all right? It's speaking of Israelites that's in the truth, man. In the truth. It's really that simple. And they that have believing masters, so once again, that's an extra cut. Believing masters. What are they believing in, man? Because listen, you had Israelites, uh, Israelites back then that didn't, they didn't care about Yahweh. They were just out living their life. Uh, Abigail's husband, he didn't care about Yahweh. He didn't give a fuck. So what? If, you know, for damn sure, he had servants, man. He was a rich man. All right. So was that servant supposed to um, hold on to his doctrine? No, man. So in this context, Timothy is talking, man, this is talking about masters and servants in the truth. That's simple. All right. Um, and they that have believing masters, let not them despise them. Which a lot of brothers are doing, a lot of people are doing now, man, because they are brethren. But rather do them service. Do, do we not please great man? Huh? Do we not serve great man? All right? Because they are faithful and beloved partakers of the benefit. What benefit? Doing this work, man, and this truth. So this is, this is talking about the truth, man. These things teach and exhort. So you're supposed to teach these things, all right? This has nothing to do with the context that's in Exodus the 21st chapter, man. That's a law given, uh, letting you know what to do if, hey, save my servant wanted to serve me forever. That's it. That's fucking it. Ain't no, there's nothing more to that, man. Stretch Armstrongs, man. That's all y'all are. But you know, this is really for edification. I ain't, I ain't got to sit up here and curse you out. None of that, man. This is what the scriptures say, man. And after this, like, I don't care if you don't get it, man. You persuaded in your own mind, so am I, all right? Um, if any man teach otherwise, hmm, uh, there's a lot of guys teaching otherwise right now. Because if I'm not mistaken, the last scripture say you're supposed to teach these things, man, and exhort, all right? Um, if any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, so this is a part of the wholesome words, man, all right? Being subject to uh, your higher ups, man, all right? Um, it says, even those words of, uh, even the words of our Lord, uh, Adawan, okay, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, into the doctrine. So once again, this doctrine is key. So this context are, are talking about Hebrew Israelite masters and servants in the truth, man. Because why would the scripture say, obey your parents in the Lord, man? Why? Wah! Like that goddamn YouTube video out with that white preacher. Wah! Wah! Alright? Um. Here's. Uh, um, oh! I, 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 wanna, I could put a name next to this scripture. Alright? But to the doctrine which is according to godliness. He is proud. Let that marinate. 
He is proud. Let that marinate. He is proud. Let that marinate. He is proud. Let that marinate. You guys are the proud family, man. All right? He is proud. Knowing nothing. But doting about Christians and strife of words, which you're proving as I speak. All right? You're proving that right now, man. Wherefore cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men and, and of corrupt minds, destitute of the truth. You guys are losing your oil. Supposing that gain is godliness from such withdrawal itself. And I ain't saying you guys are out here trying to get money or, or things of that. But hey, you be trying to gain fame or whatever it may be, man. This scripture, like I said, I could put a freaking name next to this scripture, man. Um, what else we got? Yeah, so, uh, I think I got another word I could go into. I went to, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go into Master, which is Adawan. But for the Exodus, you know, I'm just saying because I read it. But for the Exodus, it said out the wine. But when you read down, it says, I'm going to get it, man. I got it. So it says out the wine, Lord, Master, reference to men, reference of God, Master, Husband, Prophet, Governor, Prince, King, um, Prince, Father. <laughs> All right. Captain. All right. What do you mean? Just, you know, it's out of wine, but they give you synonyms and different aspects of the word and how to look at it man all right so it's really that plain cut dry simple man all right you can't sit up and say but we're not telling you to follow us your masters are telling you that you know what that's right but that's scriptural what did paul say be ye followers of me for i am a follower of yahweh shai mashiach that's scriptural man these guys these these elders are leaders are examples for us man like i said man continuing things thou has learned and being assured of whom thou has learned them from man a lot of you guys are wet behind the ears man all right you you pissy tail little boys man and they, they ain't saying a lot because i'm young in this thing you know but your actions prove how mature you really are man a lot of you guys are just better off just go out there do the work and not saying shit but, you know, I ain't gonna marvel at it. It is what it is, man. I don't give a fuck. I, I ain't gotta, you know... I ain't even wanna go back and forth. That You know, that ain't even really me, but... This was purely on edification sakes, man. Don't use that. You cannot use that in, t in contrast with the uh, First Timothy or the Titus, man. You can't use that, actually. That's talking about something completely different, man. And guess what? You know what? I got one better. Say you did want to use that. I'm going to be a servant. Uh, first of all, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh forever. You know? But also, I'm going to be a servant unto the prophets themselves, man. Alright? What did Yahweh Shai say? The greatest among you become the, uh, the servant uh, of uh, all, basically. You know? It's really that simple, man. Elisha and Elijah. Was not Alyssa a servant to Elijah? Alright? Was not Timothy a servant to Paul? Alright? Under bonds? And not physical fucking slavery change, but in the sense of this truth, man. Listen, guys. Y'all could do what y'all want to do. You ain't gonna stop the truth. We got the truth. Oh, okay. Hey, dude. Alright, guy. Look up them words. Dude and guy. That's what I'm gonna call you guys, man. Alright? Because you're going off. And really, this is really out of fucking love at the end of the day. At the end of the day, this is out of love. But, hey, it's either y'all going to wake up out of that madness or you're not. You could call us flunkies all you want, man. All right? All things are double. You could call me uh, a flunky, wicked, zombies. All right? But look at it from the right-hand side, man. The wallet to you. How about you? shy for controlling my mind and righteousness, man. You know? But with that, hey, brothers. Trying to see if there's anything else we got. Uh, time. So 
but hey, hey brothers with that, hey, I, I truly hope that this was edifying, you know, call Lord and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elder apostles of all Israel, which are the elder apostles of Great Millstone, which in turn, who are your elders now, man? Who's who's above you? And who's above that guy? You know? What about your elders? What about your teachers? Hmm? But anyway, salutations, uh, Laha, uh, Laha With that, Shalom, until next time, brother. <laughs>